talk about today is accessible bathrooms. Accessible bathrooms are important for a disabled person. If you have accessible bathrooms, you know, that's that's when they know people are thinking about them or, or have them on their mind because, you know, like I always say, we are people too and we need to be treated as, as people. So JT, tell me what it's like for a person with disabilities to go a place, to go someplace and find out they don't have accessible bathrooms. It's horrible because, you know, you feel like don't, ain't nobody thinking about us because they didn't put it in the bathroom. For example, I went to my acting program. We went on a trip and they, were, they had portable bathrooms, but it, it wasn't big enough for my wheelchair. My, my point is, it got to be big enough for you and your wheelchair and that person to get around. Because when you get there and it's not accessible, that's bad. Bad for you or bad for the person that you're trying to help. What do you do when you find out that they don't, a place you're at does not have bathrooms you can use? I kind of went up to the desk and, and told them that this is unacceptable, bro, because I feel like, you know, you're a statement and you have people like me that's in a wheelchair and I feel like you have to make it accessible for us like y'all make it accessible for your, your, yourselves because we need to be treated just like everyone else. And I feel like it's, that's important. I went to a pizza place and I had to use the one bathroom because the one bathroom was wheelchair accessible. But the, I used the guy's bathroom one time but it didn't have rails. My thing with that is, you start to build a restaurant, but you don't finish the restaurant. You do one bathroom, but you don't do another. It's all of us supposed to be which are accessible. I think you should finish because it's, it's important to finish because you want to you want men and women to know that you're thinking about them too, despite. If you're a man or a woman, because it, it seemed like to me, they started the man bathroom, but they ain't finished. They did one bathroom, but they ain't finished. So it was like a half measure. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty sure they didn't do it on purpose. It's important to be aware of what you're doing. What would you say to business owners who are worried about the cost of fixing their bathroom? Come on. Come on now. Okay, I understand it take money. I'm not naive, but like I always say, if you got a business, once you get your business up and running, the disabled people that come in to your establishment, it would help your business because you'll get more money. You won't just have regular people, you'll have people with disabilities and they'll make your business better, I feel. Not just because I'm a disabled person, I feel like that is because if you only give them a chance, you never know what, what, what might happen. Because like I said, you might hire somebody that's disabled and you're like, we got it all set up for you and the person that can walk. We don't have favorites. Or we don't discriminate. See, if you got a business, that means you don't discriminate against the person that's disabled or whatever their disability is. You're showing unity for people that can walk and people that's disabled. And I think that that's what business people want to put out there. Our business do not discriminate. You know, if you want to come to our business and get hired or anything, you can. I know I'm probably getting off the topic of the bathroom, but I'm I'm just saying things of, of a whole. When you uh, build, you need to think about different things that you're going to put in your building so you can so people can say well they thought about us too because like I said we deserve to have a life out here too and if you do that they like they thought about us and you feel the same way about older buildings too yeah I understand that you want to keep the mystique of of the way it used to be and they want to keep it was already built you know, because they like 
-hmm. Everybody like it the way it is. But like I said, if you add on and people come in your business, that can pay for that. I, I know it takes money, but once you finish the um, building and the person come on, come in, and they're like, well, this money can pay for what we added on. Because people with disabilities are customers too. Yeah, we're customers too, and we desire to be treated as such. What I'm really trying to do too is I want them to start an organization with people with disabilities, have their own franchise, and I'm trying to start that now, you know, have people with disabilities be in a boardroom and everything. I'm probably getting off the topic, but that's the only reason why I thought about this. You know, what if you had a building with people of disabilities and, and they was in the boardroom and they was doing business? So I'm giving other people ideas, maybe we could hire someone to do it and you know, because we don't have people with disability who have a business that I know of myself. Because my friend Alicia, she was telling me, she said, why don't we come up with something like that? And that's important. So the real reason why I'm making this video is to tell people to give us a chance and make the bathrooms also. I'm not trying to... I'm not trying to change up my story about the bathrooms. I'm trying to give y'all a reason why I'm making the video, if you understand what I'm saying. You know, why is he making a video about bathrooms? What's the point? Would I, could I venture a guess that the point is that you th think it's an important, that it's humanizing to have accessible bathrooms for people? Yeah, because like I said, if you have a boardroom of people with disabilities and they trying to start a business and you want to help them, you already got it already set up for that. So, so are you saying if, if businesses were more accessible, there might be more... Um, Opportunities. Like, it might be more possible for people with disabilities to, to be executives. Is that yes, what you're saying? Yes. I just want the people to realize that we have dreams out here and, and if you have an accessible building, it would help, including the bathrooms too. But I didn't want to say, I didn't want to keep talking about the bathrooms. I just want to, it, it's, in, it's important to have a, accessibility. So I just wanted to, I, I wanted to let them know why mm -hmm. it was important to have disabled bathrooms. So it's the little things that lead to the bigger things. Yes, yes. So once, once we all are equal in the bathroom, we might be equal in business. Yeah. And you never know what we might come up with together. JG Style Nation, the reason why I came up with this video because it was important to me. And I hope it's important to you. The reason why it's important to me is because I'm disabled. I just wanted to give people an insight of what I go through every day in my life. I hope a lot of people are watching it because it's important. Share the video. Like the video and share, share, share it to all your family and friends. And hope my video inspires you to think big. And I hope this video is important. Thank you.